Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God is still saying something. Prayer for the nation over earthquake and other natural disaster, which is water. There will be earthquake. There are two countries apart, apart from Haiti. It will be twice. There will be another one. This will be by sea, a country very close to the sea there, that will claim many lives. I'm seeing sea coming up. The water will overflow and will come to the country. And I'm seeing children and many trapped. Bridge, sea will flow to the city. That will cause a big destruction. It will be when people are moving on the bridge, a vehicle on the queue or traffic, something like that. Prayer for protection. CNN breaking news. CNN, a catastrophic quake in Chile has struck and a countdown to a potentially lethal tsunami striking other countries. We're covering the Trevor's aftermath and the tsunami wave racing across the ocean to a dangerous date with the nations of Asia. You're watching CNN. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. There's been a very powerful earthquake 90 kilometres from the city of Concepcion in Chile. Initial reports say the quake had a magnitude of 8.3. It shook buildings and caused a blackout in the capital, Santiago, more than 300 kilometres from the epicentre. A tsunami warning has been issued for Chile and Peru. A massive earthquake rocks Chile, sending tsunami waves pulsing across the Pacific Ocean. We are monitoring the damage and where and when possible tsunamis will hit. I'm Aisha Sasei. I'm Jonathan Mann and you're watching CNN's ongoing coverage. Well, here's what we know right now. Let's bring you up to speed with the very latest coming into us here at CNN. At least 147 people were killed in the 8.8 .8 magnitude quake. It struck just 100 kilometers from Chile and Chile, right around 3.30 in the morning when a lot of people were asleep in their beds. Now, dozens of aftershocks have rattled the area, hitting as far away as Argentina. Right now, let's bring you up to date with the situation on the ground as we know it. There is no power, no water, and no telephone services in Chile's capital of Santiago. The airport, well, that is out of commission for at least the next 24 hours. The earthquake triggered tsunami warnings all across the Pacific Ocean. The provincial governor of Chile Juan Fernandez Island says a massive wave struck just hours ago, killing at least three people. Uh, we saw some pictures a short time ago of those aerial shots. Uh, we're going to bring those to you a little bit later. Hawaii itself is bracing for a possible tsunami less than two hours from now. There were uh, three emergency fires. One was in the chem chemistry uh, faculty at the university. It's, another one was uh, a chemical industry. That's the one we're looking at right now. And the third one was in, in one of the local streets. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't stay there a while because there was, there was there was no police officers. There was no emergency crews arriving. There were like family members arriving. It was just turning to a very dangerous environment. Now, people across the Pacific Basin are bracing for possible tsunamis after an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake struck central Chile early this morning. The quake killed at least 122 people, toppled buildings, and rendered many roads and bridges simply impassable. Um, so I don't know how well you can hear me on the mic. The tsunami warnings is what you're hearing right there include Hawaii, where blaring sirens warn people along the coast to get to higher ground. 
CNN's international desk is covering this story from all angles, uh, led by our own uh, Rafael Romo. Rafael, what are you learning? Frederica, the international desk is now the Chile desk, and we're following closely every development out of Chile. What I can tell you right now is that one of the main challenges is that uh, many of the hospitals in the capital of Santiago were badly damaged by the earthquake. So the need now is to get patients out of the hospitals and transfer them to safe buildings. As you can imagine, this is going to be very challenging when a lot of the streets in and around the capital of Santiago are in bad shape. And then you also have uh, thoroughfares like Highway Number 5, the most important one in the country, also in bad shape. Bridges that ha have collapsed and all kinds of infrastructure problem. But problems but uh, the the fact remains that all of those people who were in the hospital already before the earthquake have to be transferred and also uh, you are dealing, dealing with the situation where you have hundreds thousands possibly tens of thousands of people who were injured as a result of the earthquake who also need medical attention so that's just one of the challenges that um, uh, uh, Chilean authorities are having to deal with right now Frederica prayer for the nation over earthquake and other natural disaster, which is water. There will be earthquake. There are two countries, apart, apart from Haiti, it will be twice. There will be another one. This will be by sea, a country very close to the sea there.